Here's another video some of you might be interested in, how they used to build arches years ago. And I'm guessing this is how they would have built arches before plywood or oriented strand board or uh, any of the other materials they used to build arches. That They got all sorts of different pre-manufactured stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have an opening. And um, I just kind of put a 2x4 in here. A lot of times uh, you'd come to an opening in a load-bearing wall and it would just be a 2x4 flat. Uh, sometimes it would be a 2x6 on edge or a 2x4 on edge. Or it would have different, um, maybe some at a 45 degree angle here. And then these would be going at a 45 degree angle the other way. Interesting. And if I have a link, I'll put it here to provide you with the different headers that uh, they had back then. But let's go ahead and kind of get started here. We're going to go with the center of the opening, make a mark, and then come down and make a mark on each side. And I will make another video, put a link into to that video when it is made and to show you how you could draw something like this. But this is just kind of the give you an overview of what the arches might have looked like um, or how they could have done them in a variety of different circumstances. So going to have to get a board here, 2 by 6 and cut um, or draw your arch in here. And that's not hard to do. And cut it to fit. And then, of course, this is how it would look after it was shaped. And this is actually the closest thing I found. I have an old book that uh, showed how they made arches years ago. And in the book, it looked something like this. They just simply shaped a couple of boards to create the arch that they wanted. And a long time ago, the plasters, the carpenters just had to get something rough. I've actually seen, I know this is going to be kind of shocking, but I've actually seen where they might have taken a 4x8 or something, drew the circle to the best that they could have, and then took a, an axe or a hatchet and cut the thing out. And I was shocked when I came across this one time. But uh, again, this is one method. The um, You know, when you get a creative... And the old uh, people that built uh, homes in the 19, early 1900s and the 1800s, uh, they had to get creative. And if you had a carpenter, then I forget what the carpenter, a carpenter used to be called a mechanic. That's right. They were called mechanics years ago. And a mechanic, I think, would have referred to somebody who was extremely skilled at figuring things out and figuring out how to build an arch might not have been that difficult for a master carpenter or a mechanic as they might have been referred to years ago. Now here's another example of something I came across at one time. Someone built something like this and uh, used this to support uh, or as a support for a bearing wall, load bearing wall. You can see here where the weight could come down, could kind of replace a header or at least this is what the thinking could have been at the time. Now, I could see where something like this, if there was enough weight, it's going to want to push both of these sections this way. And you might need some blocks for something like that. Uh, um, or if you think about it, for this, in order for this to work through using some type of engineering, structural engineering, you're going to have to make this area or reduce the amount of movement in these areas by putting some blocks in. Otherwise, this thing is just going to push the trimmer out over time and uh, you're going to have a problem. So hope that makes sense. And let's go ahead and give you an idea where the curve is going to be located. And you can see where it's also going to be. Um, this board here is going to need to have a little bit taken out of it. And you can always use larger boards. You can use what I'm going to show you here is going to use five pieces. And uh, you can always get away with using, if you had a larger piece here, for example, you might only need three pieces. But we're going to use five in this example. And the reason why I chose to use five is just to give you an idea. If you were going to make a wider arch, something that might be taller, or even shallow or something that's going to require more than three pieces. 
you might need to make one with five pieces, larger boards, or even seven pieces, whatever you think, uh, you know, whatever will be easiest. And I'm saying that. I'm not suggesting that you need to build something like this, but uh, am suggesting or providing you with the information just in case you ever get into a spot where you're going to build something. You know, I can't tell you how many times as a carpenter, you know, um, the conventional methods that were used during those times didn't always work out to be um, the best possible method of construction. And we'd have to resort to other methods. Um, something like this would be an example of one of them. So here we have a filler block. The other filler block here, and you can see where the line is and how these boards are going to need to be cut. And I would imagine if you were going to build something like this years ago, you would probably build this section on the ground so that you could cut it out. You wouldn't frame it and then um, cut it out. But I'm not saying that's not impossible. Um, I came to a, a house one time, and it might have been more than one time, but uh, the guy took an axe or a hatchet and cut out the arch, cut what he needed. And you could see it was a, was a hatchet or an axe because you could see where he chopped into the thing um, and uh, got the wood out of there. And uh, some of the older pictures I have of carpenters working um, shows them with uh, Regan axes where you had a hammerhead on one side and a hatchet on the other side. And uh, even when I wor started working in 1978, they were using that. A lot of the framers were. And I was like, no, nah, there's no way. I never, never even dreamed of doing that. But years ago, grabbing a hatchet and cutting something like this out... Um, would have been an option and and this and when I saw it it was on a four by six or a four by eight it wasn't the two two bys like this it was a larger board that they had trimmed out um, something like this tr trimmed it out and uh, the plasterers probably made up the difference uh, to make the carpenters uh, work l look a little nicer now let's go ahead and uh, straighten everything out and make it look nice and round. I guess that wouldn't be straightening it out. It would be curving it about maybe. So something like this, another idea how they might have done something years ago. And of course without a hatchet on this one. In our last example here, I'm going to provide you with just something I thought of while I was doing some design work here. So we're going to have a different shaped arch. And instead of having using five pieces, we're going to use two pieces. And of course, two of the pieces are going to cross over each other. And they're going to alternate. And you'll see that here in a second. So this one here is going to run through. This one here is going to butt into this one. But on the other side, this one here is going to run through. And this one here is going to butt it, this one. And this could be fastened here with some bolts, um, some nails, nail the heck out of it. And the blocks here I was referring to, if we had enough pressure coming down, it could force this over. And uh, um, so these blocks would definitely help. And that is it. So here I had to throw my own design in there. And if, if you've uh, seen this before and uh, or it was approved by an engineer, uh, that probably wouldn't ever happen. Let us know. Um, if you like the video, hit the old thumbs up button. And uh, any questions or comments, leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.